Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's outlook, we start with Asian stock markets, mostly advanced on Tuesday, recovering from the previous day's heavy sell-off as Greece inched near towards a debt default. In a highly volatile session, China's Shanghai Composite Index surged as high as 4% at the start of the afternoon session, after, of course, falling 4.7% to hit an intraday low of 384.7 earlier in the day. Tuesday's wild ride comes on the back of an intense session on Monday, where the Shanghai bourses closed down 3.3% into bar market territory, even as the People's Bank of China unveiled a bigger-than-expected easing package over the weekend. In Japan, the local stock index Nikkei 225 clunked back into uh, some of Monday's 2.9% slump, with the uh, yen also higher versus the dollar at 1.22 yen per dollar. European equities, however, are expected to open lower Tuesday as Greece looks to set to a, for a default on 1.5 billion euro debt payment due to the International Monetary Fund on Tuesday, citing a Greek governmental officials. The cash-strapped country needed emergency funding to make the payment. However, negotiations uh, for a cash for reform package between Athens and its creditors uh, broke down over the weekend after Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras called for a surprise referendum. On the data front, however, UK uh, fin financial gross domestic product uh, for the uh, first quarter is due and, of course, Italian and German unemployment figures. The battle lines over Greece's uh, futures uh, that uh, hardened as the country prepares to leave the protection of Europe's bailout regime and its uh, citizens grapple with a new uh, regional of capital controls. Elsewhere in Europe, uh, we're looking at UK consumer confidence. It goes to a, got a uh, post-election bounce this month, uh, rising to its highest levels in more than 15 years, according to uh, GFK. Consumers have helped the UK economy to um, nine straight quarters of growth, offsetting weak external demand and, of course, threatened uh, from the crisis in Greece. UK government bonds advanced as well, pushing 10-year bond yields to the lowest in more than a week, as the mounting crisis in Greece prompted investors to seek out the safe haven uh, debt securities. Sterling was little changed, uh, rising two tenths of a percent to 157.74 against the dollar. And gold, however, in the commodity sector dipped on Tuesday as it failed to gain stronger safe haven beds even with Greece heading for a debt default later in the session, while a robust dollar and the recovery in stock markets also weighed on the precious metal. Gold fell to a tenth of a percent to 1177.60 an ounce throughout the Asian session after gaining six tenths of a percent in the last two sessions. For the month, however, the metal is still down one percent. Though gold is usually seen as an alternative investment during the times of a financial and economic uncertainty, the safe haven uh, gains uh, tend to be very short-lived. Gold still remains weak and, of course, could likely test the 1163 level this week. All futures, however, hoovered below a three-week low on a Tuesday as investors waited for developments in Greece following a bank shutdown, keeping them away from uh, riskier assets and, of course, putting Brent crude on course for a second month of decline. U.S. crude, however, dropped 14 cents to $58.19, a barrel having closed down one and $1.3 at $58.33 a barrel, its lowest uh, settlement since June 8. It is set for its first monthly decline in uh, three and has fallen about 3.5% this month. And of course, the calendar, we're looking at uh, a German unemployment rate today at 7.55 and at 8.30, UK's first quarter GDP report. That's all for today. Keep an eye on the calendar. All eyes on Greece. Thank you. Bye-bye.